And starting off with great news, snowbird numbers are rebounding. Is this after the amount of out-of-state visitors declined tremendously in the height of the pandemic? And if you are here from another country or from another state, we have Renee Ribello, certified financial planner with us with some great tips so you can have your life here pretty good. Hi, Renee. Welcome. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. You're from Canada yourself. I am from Canada. Been here for quite some time. Yep. Been What's coming for years. For Been coming for years. Bought a place last year and learned a lot about snowbirding. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not a snowbird yet. However, uh -huh. I work with a lot of snowbirds from Canada and uh, speak with a lot of them down here from northern states and have learned a lot and a lot of tips. So I'd like to share some tips with the snowbirding people yeah. for next year. So, you know, one of the biggest questions I get as a snowbird expert is that where do I go? Where should I go in Florida? Mm -hmm. Right? Because it's such a large state and it is very overwhelming because it is so diverse. <laughs> yeah. And I always say to people, it really depends on your lifestyle. What's important to you? Is the beach important? Is the activities important? Is population important? You know, are you coming by yourself? Are you coming with a spouse? Do you need to meet friends? You know, things like that. So once you kind of figure out where you want to be, the next is kind of figuring out, all right, so let me try it out for a little bit. Okay. Let me spend a couple months in one spot instead of going full in six months committed, like that's a lot. And what if you don't end up liking it, right? Mm. So, you know, I tell people to do it for a couple months, figure it out, make sure you enjoy the area. The other thing I recommend is not a lot of visitors. Okay. You know, you don't want to be a free air and Airbnb to your family and friends because ultimately that's what happens, right? Everyone's like, wait, you're in the South and I'm shoveling snow. I'm coming down for a week. <laughs> and you're like, heck no. Okay. <laughs> because you're just, you know, cooking and taking them everywhere and not really getting to enjoy your reason that you're down and here, right? And getting to know the area. And getting to make friends and just, yeah, and experiencing everything that Florida has to offer. Like there's a wonderful amount of experiences here and it's so diverse. You know, so I understand the allure to coming mm -hmm. out of the the snowy north to the right. sunny south and you know just um you know taking a peek at whether you want to rent or buy these are options that people need to think about too you know depending on their finances and just um you know ensuring that you're definitely in the right area that i think is the biggest thing that snowbirds need to look at mm -hmm. is ensuring that they're in the right area and even if you so if you buy something you okay. can utilize and leave all your things here which is handy right so if you own a home you can travel back and forth lightly you know, take your time driving down as opposed to making it down in 20 hours like I do. So I drive straight through, oh, you know, goodness. but if you're retired, you can take a few days and experience what you can experience across the states as you drive down. If you're renting, you know, I suggest to people who rent, rent a, a storage unit, mm -hmm. right? So instead of trucking everything back to the north at the end of your stay, you know, you have a storage unit, you can keep all your things in the storage unit. And then when you come back down next year, you can go grab all your stuff and you have it right here. So that's also very easy to, to make it um, so that it's less cumbersome to, to go back and forth at the end of the season. So that's nice. And talk to a landlord if you are renting about possibly staying next year, book it now. Because one really? thing okay. that has happened is the prices have skyrocketed. Right. You know, and that is actually what motivated me to purchase okay. was and the cost of renting. I got it. So you basically started off with a few weeks at the year and then kind of made the plan for the six months. Is that what you did specifically? Not, not specifically me because I'm, a, I'm not a snowbird. I'm still okay. working. You know, I'm still doing my financial planning business. And um, but what I am doing is I'll do a week here, a week there. I can work remotely. So it allows me okay. the freedom to come down whenever possible to enjoy the sunny south and the beaches and the people. So they're very friendly down here absolutely you know it, it's just a great culture and I, I understand the allure to come mm -hmm. down um, but yeah definitely you know looking at what your schedule will fit for you too because I'm not a snowbird however I'm able to come down and work it in my schedule that I can spend a week a month or I can come down for a couple weeks or even a weekend mm -hmm. I've flown down here for a weekend and just flown right back on Sunday and back to work on Monday so it's a nice little option depending on what your lifestyle allows you to do and what your budget allows you to do that's very important the budget part is I think crucial at this moment and of course if you would like to learn more about Renee's work you have all the information that you need on your screen for lifecoachfinancial.com thank you so much for coming Renee and I hope that I see you again because you have so many great information for our viewers thank you thank you for having me it's been fun